Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams. And with the tennis season officially over, we have the World Cup in football or soccer if you're from America or Australia. That's on at the moment. And the tennis players are getting around the World Cup. Of course, tennis is a worldwide sport. And of course, soccer is also a worldwide sport. And there's a lot of the players that are getting behind different teams. Let's go have a check on social media and see what players are supporting what teams. So let's start with Layla Fernandez. Now she has two teams that she has gone for. As you can see by this video, she posted on Instagram. Of course, she is representing Canada on the tennis tour, but she's also going for Ecuador at the World Cup. So she kind of has two different teams that she's going for. Novak Djokovic, of course, is from Serbia and he is going for Serbia. Actually posted this photo of the Serbian team saying let's go and good luck after they played their first match against Brazil. So Novak Djokovic sticking with his Serbian team of course. Ons Jabir, she of course is from Tunisia and she is supporting the Tunisian team from afar. She says congratulations to the whole team and this was following the draw they had against Denmark in their first match. And now to some of the players that actually attended the World Cup. So we have Victoria Azarenka was actually at the game between Saudi Arabia and Argentina. The biggest upset of the tournament so far. And she was in the stands there. You can see there, be my life dream to see Messi play for Argentina. And she was there, unfortunately, didn't go Argentina's way, but she did get to see that. Another player that was at that game was Diego Schwartzman, of course, from Argentina. You can see there, beautiful seats right near the pitch. And he also watched that match. Unfortunately for him, it wasn't a good day, but still got to see Messi close up. And Dino Vekic was actually at the Croatia game to start off the event. And you can see there a photo of her in her Croatia colors with the Croatian flag and a couple of emojis after that. So some of the tennis players on their holidays getting down to watch the World Cup in person. So there's the crossover between tennis and the World Cup. Obviously, a lot of tennis players are getting around their teams in the World Cup. That's just a few that we saw on social media over the last couple of weeks. But let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win the World Cup? And who are you supporting at the World Cup football this year?